Hi and welcome to Red Moose Hunting's YouTube channel. If you haven't seen our videos uh, before, uh, we are a channel that produces hunting videos and uh, videos about hunting equipment frequently. Uh, do not uh, forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out when we release any new videos. Throughout this video you should bear in mind that we are filming with a camera that has between 25 to 30 times magnification. And since I uh, only have six times magnification on my rifle scope, I have now the opportunity to ask the cameraman for help of evaluating the trophy quality. That's why we sometimes lose a couple of seconds in a situation where we could take a shot. Här är den som skåvarna som är väldigt nära den ljusa Aron. Så skovlarna är den sista störst. Jag måste ha fritt från den andra. Är den sista störst. Well, uh, today we have our focus on calves. We can also shoot small females, spikers or fallow deer. And we have on the whole group we're hunting today, one big male shuffle. Uh, that was some very nice, but I had a hard time evaluating them because I wanted it to be a really big one. 
and I also have a hard time evaluating to them and uh, they also need to be free from each other. Well, I think that was a little too big wild boar. Uh, we have the maximum limit for wild boar shoot today at 60 kilos. And uh, it's, uh, I think, was well above that. But it, it's hard to say when it comes to single wild boars many times. But I feel that it's much better to be safe than sorry. Well, now the first beat is finished for the day and uh, we have had a lot of game and animals passing by us here, but uh, I think there was no good chance, so I, I didn't shoot anything, but uh, now we will have two more beats. <laughs>
it was a little unusual group of deer. Anyone know what kind of deer it is? In Swedish it's David's Hjort, David's deer. I actually don't know the English name, but uh, I suppose it's maybe the David's deer, but I don't know. I will look it up and write it down. They have the biggest population of this deer here at Eriksberg. Uh, the biggest population in Scandinavia, I should say. And I think that maybe is at least half of that population coming in one big group. Beat of the day, and uh, we have a very nice stand. It's very open forest, tall trees, so we can see in some direction 300 meters. But I think mainly it's shooting in like 100 meters. So we are hoping for a good last drive. A group of mufflon was on its way to our stand. Today we only shoot yearlings, both female and males, and we also can shoot one big male. But the big male was shot in the first beat, so we're only looking for the young ones. As you can see, it's a very rocky and stony environment at Eriksberg. It's not a matter of fact if you can get a ricochet, uh, you must calculate that every bullet will ricochet. As you can see in the first and the second beat of this movie, uh, we had a lot of what you can call it half chances, where maybe you could have taken a shot, but it takes a little more to evaluate if it's a safe shot or not, because you don't want to hurt any other animals in that one you are shooting at, and definitely not uh, bringing any harm's way to the dog keepers and the dogs. So uh, it's much more important here to keep a, a wide angle uh, towards uh, other animals in the terrain.
Tobias skjutet skovel. 99% säker i knä. Jag kan rapportera att den ligger och kameramannen säger att den gick ner. Jag har inte sett vad det är som den driver bakom. Well, it was a very exciting moment and I got a big mail and uh, it was like in a little what can say a uh, 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 hole with stones around so but uh, i think it was the right one to take and actually the whole group is standing are still there Ah. Ah. I'm very happy for this. It's maybe not a monster, but I think it's so far my best fellow deer. Very nice curve on the antlers and the shot, it's on the shoulder as I wanted it uh, and the bullet have done its job as it's supposed. I shoot with the Hornady GMX in caliber 9.3 and it hits hard. So. I'm very happy for this. It's a very, very nice deer. Uh, today we have hunted here at Eriksberg. It's a fenced area in Blekinge in Sweden. And uh, it's not mainly fenced for the hunting. They have a safari park. Uh, for visitors you come and, uh, and look at the animal and uh, enjoy their uh, accommodation here and so on. And of course the, the deer and the wild boar, they, uh, they, uh, the population is rising so of course they need to regulate it. So that's why we are here. So I'm very happy for this. It was in the last beat. And even if we have had a lot of success for the group today, I think it's approximately 40 animals shot on 10 hunters. For me, uh, I have a, it was my only chance today. So I'm very happy.